Well, good morning, YouTubers. Welcome back. This is Terry from my cottage up north. This is what I we got yesterday. They predicted we were going to get one to three inches. We got six. So we got to plow some today, and I'll take you along for that. But this will be my first plowing of the year, so I don't know how it'll go. Uh, I have a gravel driveway, and that's not froze yet. But I got some uh, clamps on my bucket to, so I don't uh, dig into the uh, into the gravel. It'll leave about an inch of snow, but that's okay because I need to get a base down so it freezes. Then I'll have a good driveway for the winter. So we'll get going at that. The temperature today is, yeah, let's see, about 35 degrees. It's about 11.30 in the morning. And we got probably a 25 mile an hour wind from this direction right into my face. So that'll make it a little challenging. Trees are kind of pretty. But there is uh, left of the snow on them with this wind. But we're going to have to get things cleaned up today. And uh, get going.
Well, YouTubers, somewhere along the line, my battery died on my cameras. They don't last that long in this cold weather, I guess. So uh, I had to charge a couple up so I could finish this video. Uh, I had some questions. These these metal pads. I don't know if you can see them or not. I did a video on unboxing those and putting them on the tractor last early last spring before maple syrup season. So I'll put to see if I can put a uh, link to that if anybody's interested. And also, I got some questions on my canopy or my cover for my my tractor here. Um, I didn't see the comment, so I never responded to it, and I'm sorry about that, but this, this can, this piece right here is the ones you can buy. I think I paid like 43 or 47 dollars for it. It's made to go over a golf cart, okay? And then I just made a frame. I, I don't know if anybody knows about Shelter Logic, some of the canopies. I used to have one over my pontoon boat. Well, every year or every two or three years, I'd have to put a new canopy up because it'd be shot. Well, it was cheaper to buy the whole kit than it was to just buy the canopy itself. So I had a lot of extra tubing. And that's where this framework came from. It's painted yellow, but it, was, it used to be white. And I just made some modifications to it so it would fit. Put a couple straps across the top so that it uh, wouldn't sag down. But I I have a clearance problem in my garage, so I couldn't put anything thick up there. So I just put some band steel in there and painted it. And it's put on the tractor with quick disconnects with just pins. And there's four pins, and I could tell you I take the whole thing right off the tractor if I want to. And the first couple years I had it on, that's what I did. I'd take it off for the summer. But then I found out I, I like leaving it on because in the summer when I'm working, I don't have the sun beating on me. So I just leave it on year-round now. The, the windows in it are these flaps. They're, they're zippered. And you can see that if you go online and look for a golf cart cover, rain cover or whatever you want to call it. And they, they zip up. Now this side I always leave open. But in the summer, this back one, I roll this up and I put a couple of strings here so I can tie it up and it stays up for the summer for ventilation. And the one on this side also zippers open. And I, I put that all the way back like the one on the other side. So I got plenty of air going through it. And that's... Hopefully that answers that question. It took a little welding, I won't lie, because uh, on, a, on a shelter logic canopy, the, the corners are like 45 degrees or something like that. Well, I needed 90 degrees for these corners. So all I did is I just cut it and re-welded it so it was at 90 degrees and that worked out real well. So hopefully that answers everybody's questions. Again, I'm sorry I didn't get back on that comment. I didn't see it. And I feel bad about that because I normally try to get back if I can. But, like I said, my batteries went dead. I had to charge this up so I could finish the video. But I'll show you the result. I'll just take a walk down the driveway. Show you that I actually did get it done. And this was only six inches. There are times when I'm pushing two feet up here. And I see the snow is starting to come off of my sugar shack already. Another day or two, if uh, we get some sun, that'll be all off of there. You can see where she dropped in here. I didn't use the plow this time because, like I said at the beginning, my driveway isn't froze up yet. The gravel is loose. If I were to use that plow, I would have been pushing gravel off the, off the driveway, so that's why I didn't use it for this one. But in the winter, once she freezes up, then I'll be using the plow. So let's take a little walk here and show you what we got done. 
when I got all done with the with the bucket, then I've got the back blade. And I should probably show you that when I get back. I've got some pads on the bottom of it so it don't go all the way to the ground. And I, I went up and down with that. That's these lines you see. What that does is just uh, levels out all the snow so when I drive over it, it kind of packs more level so it's not so humpy. Well, as you can see, we got her done. I won't walk all the way out there to show you, but as you can see out to the road, she's all done. Wait for the next snowstorm, which is supposed to come tomorrow, but they're saying maybe an inch. Well, they said oh, one to three for this, and we got six, so you can't count on those guys. I don't know, that's, when I was growing up, that's the job I should have had. You can be wrong most of the time to still keep your job. But, weather in Wisconsin is kind of weird compared to the rest of the country and maybe even the rest of the world, I don't know. We got the, the Great Lakes around us and they really affect the weather. People don't realize how much. Well, I'll show you those pads on the back of the tractor and then we're going to end this video. It turned out to be a nice day. It's still pretty cool. It's probably low 30s. But with that sun today, I was plenty warm in that cab on the tractor. Just to keep that wind off you and the sun shines in there, it warms it right up. But these are the pads I made for the back of this blade. They're uh, a set of shoes. And I've just got them spaced. These brackets I welded onto the plow. And made those up and welded them on. And then I've I got spacers. I can space this up or down whichever way I want it to be. I like to keep it about an inch or so off the gravel. At least until everything froze. Then I'll, I'll move them up more so that it digs more. But until things are froze, all I do is move gravel around if I don't. But that's what we do. Well, thank you. if you made it this far, thanks for watching. If you like it, hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, I would really appreciate you subscribing. And if you hit that little bell, then uh, YouTube will notify you when I put up a new video. Until then, this is Terry at my cottage up north. And we'll see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye now.